Affairs Director for the Tri-City Regional Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the wrap-up episode of Session Spotlight for the 2022 Legislative Session. First, let's look at legislation that survives session that will have the greatest impact on the local business community. Senate Bill 5873 reduces premiums for unemployment insurance, as well as family and medical leave. House Bill 1732 delays implementation of the controversial long-term care benefit program for 18 months. Move Ahead Washington funds a 16-year, $17 billion transportation package. None of our regional transportation priorities were included in this package. House Bill 1812 streamlines the energy facility site evaluation process and expands the governor's siting authority, which may come into play on the Horse Heaven Wind Project. Senate Bills 5764 and 5600 expands state registered apprenticeship programs, funding and credentialing that aims to help build and prepare a local workforce. House Bill 5901 creates a manufacturing and R&D sales and use tax incentive program for counties with populations less than 650,000. Senate Bill 5980 increases B&O small business tax credits and the tax filing threshold. Senate Bill 5761 creates L&I employer requirements for providing wage and salary information to applicants for employment. This may prove cumbersome for small businesses simply wanting to hang up a help wanted sign. House Bill 1846 provides a tax preference for rural and non-rural data centers. This bill provides tax incentives to develop data centers, but only if companies enter into project labor agreements. And finally, House Bill 1795 makes non-disclosure agreements between an employer and employee void and unenforceable. This bill adds a private right of action. Now let's look at what bills didn't survive, but will most likely show up again next session. House Bill 1837 would have opened the door for the state to put workplace ergonomic regulations in place that employers feel are too costly, too specific, and too burdensome. House Bill 1838 was dubbed the Farm Killer Bill. It would have created a riparian buffer zone of 250 feet on either side of the high water mark of a waterway in an effort to help salmon. House Bill 1782 and Senate Bill 5670 would have required cities to add multifamily housing in single family zoned neighborhoods to expand access to affordable housing. House Bill 1868 would set new patient to nurse ratio staffing standards that opponents say would lead to longer wait times and adversely affect patient care. And finally, House Bill 1770 would give authority to the State Building Code Council to create stringent energy code requirements for construction, including banning the installation of natural gas mechanisms. Just because session is over doesn't mean we're going anywhere. Session Spotlight will be back next year to cover the 2023 legislative session. In the interim, if you have any issue that you'd like the Chamber to look at, please reach out. Thanks for watching.